Prince Harry says the UK is his home, but he was forced to leave in 2020 as he continues his battle against the Home Office. The Duke of Sussex is challenging the decision to downgrade his publicly funded security detail after he quit as a working royal. Harry's barrister said he did not accept it was a choice to have stopped being a full-time working member of the royal family. He said the UK was his home and central to the heritage of his children, explaining in a written witness statement, I want, to fe I want them to feel at home as much as where they live at the moment in the US. That cannot happen if it's not possible to keep them safe when they are on UK soil. Hmm. <sighs> I'm touched. He went on to say, I can't put my wife in danger. And given my experiences in life, I'm reluctant to unnecessarily put myself in harm's way too. Harry now faces a wait for a judge's, a judge's ruling after the three day hearing concluded this afternoon. The majority of the high court proceedings were held behind closed doors. And I actually do think that 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 does matter because there's a lot of information that we don't know, I suppose, for, for um, you know, confidentiality reasons. I'm at the point where I'm wondering whether Harry is entitled, ignorant or just stupid or like a toxic combination of three, because I don't understand how I don't know if you remember from the Netflix documentary that that image of him. This is the freedom flight. Right. So it didn't look like he was, you know, being forced out. It looked like he was actually very happy to leave, especially if he was being killed by Netflix cameras. But that's that's besides the point. I, I don't think he actually understood the magnitude of the decision that he was making and how rushing it in the way that he did and being private about it and effectively dismissing his whole household was going to have the kind of repercussions it was going to have over him and his family. At the end of the day, the overarching argument here is we cannot set a precedent where the police are basically security for hire because of your perceived status. There are very many famous people in this country that receive threats and face threats on a daily basis that do have private security details that are also assisted by the, the, by the police when it is necessary. And unfortunately, if you are not a working world, that is how your status is downgraded to. You cannot keep arguing that you, you somehow have a special place in the sky because you want you and your blushing bride, Megan, and your two kids to come to this country I, I don't even know why, but that, that's on him. And force the UK to effectively set this precedent. You are not that special. I'm sorry, he needs to accept it. In his, in his exit statement in January 2020, he just says it's not a choice. Mm. It was not a choice. He was forced to leave the UK. Well, he had three choices, actually. In his exit statement, he said, we have chosen to make a transition. Yeah. Talking about going to, uh, leaving and moving to America. No, well, either he, said, he, he said, said he was Got given the option. There, then, isn't yeah, it? He, said he was given the option to either continue, him and Meghan, as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex with their royal duties, to leave entirely. And then the third option, which they pitched to the Queen and, and Charles and, and William, saying they'll have a half-in, half-out approach where they can travel to Canada when they want and then choose special tours to do like they chose with South Africa and all of that. And the Queen said, actually, that doesn't work. Now, I don't know whether the Queen said there was no chance of them working out that fine detail. I think it was a bit disrespectful because, you know, the likes of the Queen and King Charles and the rest of the family have dedicated their lives to service. And if they didn't want to do that, it would be a very, uh, pre very precarious kind of situation to figure out for them. But at the end of the day, they were given a choice. You could stay in your but role or leave. If, if the king stepped down tomorrow and mm. said, uh, you know, I've loved this gig. I love the crown. It's been fantastic. It's been, However, you've been great. You've been a great crown. However, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm done with this royal thing. Yeah. I don't want to do it anymore. So mm. I'm not just going to retire. I'm going to stop being royal. Do you think he should have security? Yes. I think he'll have the same security. Of course he should. Course he we should. have this quirk called the royal family. It's a bit weird. I can't defend it. I wouldn't vote for it in a million years, but it's there. But what about the Beckhams? I said the other day. That, what, what about the What about no, they're, they're, the they're, just as they're just as famous no, as the king, no. arguably. No, Prince Harry. Prince Harry. Prince Harry. Prince Harry. I said it the other day. Prince Harry target. will Sorry. always be the king's son. Prince Harry will always be the former Prince Harry. He will always be the son of Diana. You can't change that as an irredeemable reality. Give him a semblance of security. He I does think, have a semblance of security. Great. When it is necessary, the police to do a coronation. step in. But he would, as it turns up now, he would turn up at Heathrow Airport and get in an Uber. That does. Well, no, that actually, to me, he is would, all he would use his millions of Netflix yeah, money no, to hire theory, a private I'm security so, team that will be assisted by the police, that. like all the other is, celebrities have. I think there is. Uh, it's incumbent on the government. <clears throat> to provide something for somebody who is... And, of course, the more we talk about saying? it... you know what you're saying? You are telling the taxpayer to pay for that. Well, we have a royal family. No, but Let's get rid of the royal family. We don't, we don't have then a we royal don't have these questions or these No, Prince Harry people. has already said he would pay for it. I don't want to pay for it. You can't do that, though. You cannot pay for the police. That's that's not how this works. The police are thugs for What's your perspective? My perspective on it is this. I completely take... You agree with me. I, I take Fabulous. what Collins is saying. I, I, <laughs> I say what Collins is saying, and I understand it, but... He, Harry currently lives in a country where normal people walk around with guns. In the UK, normal people are not walking around with guns holstered. 
Mm. That's not. That's just not. It's not, that's not the case. Mm. How is he surviving in the US with private security when every he's going out to concerts, he's flight taking private jets to concerts, he's sitting in auditoriums where there could be snipers in up there. He's okay with that. But when he comes to the UK, suddenly no, we've got to have the police, especially because they have arms. No, no, no. Esther is correct. We can't have the precedent <laughs> set for him yes, now am. because, as I say, <laughs> when Mark Zuckerberg comes down, when um, Bill Gates comes here. He's not got armed police guards walking around in him. And he has anyone who's associated with the World Economic Forum. All these conspiracy theorists who think that these people control the world. Bill Gates gets death threats all the time. He's not a prince. No, but here's the thing. So, yeah, so the difference is he's a prince. Are that, we that's what you're saying. Well, we can't, we we can't show like the police undo often know. What the royal this is, I think we're, there's, there's, we're, we're, they we're drawing a false binary here. We're pretending like there is no police assistance or that he as a private individual has yeah. no protection. That's not what's happening. He has been downgraded in the sense that he is not a working member of the royal family. So he's not afforded that kind of security. He is a well known member of the royal family with a heightened uh, security risk, which we all accept, like other celebrities, like people like Salman Rushdie, who, you know, had a fatwa against him. We accept that. Does However, Prince Andrew have security? Yeah, he does. Well, he, do well, there he you does. Go. Should he? Should he? That, it's a conversation I'm happy to interview. Yeah, that, that, that wins it. That shuts the debate down. <laughs> and you're right. And if Andrew's got it, thank you very then, much. Oh, then, I'm, then, I'm, I'm, very, you have oh, I'm very this. happy for him to lose his security. <laughs> I'm very happy for Prince Andrew to lose his security. I'm very consistent on this. But the point that I'm making is Harry does have a certain level of security. One part he does pay for, and another part that is assisted by the police when it is necessary. And that should be sufficient for him because if he's living in a country where people carry guns, where he could be shot going to Walmart, he should be very happy with what he gets here. Mm. Okay. Our producers are telling me that they don't think Andrew does have private security. Not really. But, but, but I question that. Okay. I question that. All right. <laughs>